Hi everyone, I'm Steve here again with the Gut Girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thanks for having me. All right, so we were talking off camera and <laughs> you're very educated and people at you know high levels of education, they're gonna disagree on some things, but you were telling me about something that just bugs you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that in fitness influencers say. And I think what you got to realize about most fitness influencers, or a lot of them anyway, not all of them, but a lot of them are trying to sell you something. And um, you, you were talking about when they say something like lean body mass, and I'm not going to get you lean body mass. I'm going to get you muscle mass. Tell me what you're talking about there and why does that bug you? Okay. It just drives me nuts because every time I'm on a platform and I see an influencer say, well, I'm going to, I'm going to make you lean body mass versus muscle mass, blah, 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 or the vice versa, other, other way around. There is so no they may difference. say, you're not going to put on lean mass, lean body mass. You're going to put on muscle mass. Well, and they're, and just like you said, they're trying to sell you. So in the bodybuilders camp, which I, I'm going to take them all off in the bodybuilders camp, which I once was, they're going to say, I'm going to get you muscle mass. But in the runner's corner or the Spartan people, they're going to go, what you need is lean mass. There's no difference. Like. You're only, when you believe that stuff, you are only believing the gimmick of what you want to look like. Literally, and we have spoken about this, the difference in lean versus muscle is so, literally, it's fat versus muscle. It's, it's a skeletal muscle versus, or a smooth muscle, or a, you know, water weight. When you get that technical, you are on a high level of kind of breaking the body down and looking at things. If you're just, I'm going to use an example right from your page. If you have somebody come in who's 30 and they're lifting like crazy and they're just lifting like crazy and they're, they're really leaning out and they're gaining muscle, their bone density is going to grow by a small amount. What you're doing for that is you're preparing your body to age and not have osteoporosis. That's, you got to bring this back down. Really what we're doing is we're selling skinny versus fat. Don't get caught up in lean versus muscle. If they're saying that and they're trying to differentiate between this big thing, they're just selling you a gimmick. So I, I have a question for you because I'm trying to figure out why would someone say, I'm going to give you, well, correct me if I'm wrong. Are they saying, I'm going to give you lean body mass, meaning I'm going to make you lean and skinny? Yes. Okay. Yes. So they have a product that's going to make you lean and skinny, potentially, yes. as a, when they say, so that's what they mean by lean body mass. Yes. Which is irrelevant you said it i mean the the two things that we can adjust and uh, modify significantly is body fat and muscle mass yes so the other side who's saying i'm going to help you put on muscle mass so they're saying i'm going to help you not be skinny and be swole swole yes yes so you've got two camps here that are not talk that are talking the same talk and it's making me nuts because really it's the same camp you're just selling a gimmick and you're skilling you're selling skinny versus kind of like a bodybuilder versus a spartaner they're only trying to sell you something when you go in to to become lean and grow muscle you are trying to be healthy and that comes from what you eat, how you lift, what you do in cardio, all of those kind of things. It doesn't mean that they can make you one type of lean versus another type of lean. That's insane. Plus, so 
I think everybody's different. Everybody's makeup is different. That's why I don't do cookie cutter one size fits all. So you're telling me that you can make someone who is big boned, morbidly obese, extremely lean body mass. That that's insane. Their body is going to be their body type. Right. They're they're bigger bone, they're going to be yeah. They're going to look a little um, I get it. So bigger. there you you hear these people using these terms as I'm going to help you put on lean body mass. Well, putting putting weight on, you always want to put on muscle. That's really the only way right. you can do it. But certain people who are big, they're not going to be skinny marathon runners. No. Or they're not going to at least they're not going to at least look like a skinny marathon runner in the lean department. I has I was majority of my life a marathon runner. I never looked like I was 110 pounds and, you know, wet. I literally was a little beefier and that's because I could have a lot more muscle on me and run a marathon. There's two different like you can't do that. Body you types. can't there's two different body well, there's several different body types. Right. And you You're can't talking just, about two different ones. It you just can't put people in a camp when you're saying, really, I'm selling you skinny versus heavy. That's it. It's yeah. not that simple. There you go. So do you feel better? I do. I do feel better. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. If you want to reach out to Nicole, um, how do they get a hold of you, Nicole? You can schedule something with me at the gut girl one at gmail.com. And if you mention you want to schedule something from hearing us on this platform, I will give you a hundred dollars off. That's great. All right, Nicole, thanks for being with us and we will see you next time. Thanks for having me. Thank you.